answering feminine questions about kusl. I recommend you watch the complete manner and etiquettes of kusl before this video. Is wetting the hair enough for kusl? No. Only wetting the hair is not enough. The water has to reach your scalp. This is obligatory for men and women. Because Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, تَحْتَ كُلِّ شَعْرَةٍ جَنَابَ Under every strand of hair, there is janaba. So if your hair is thick, you should make sure the water reaches the roots. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha narrates that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to take water in his hands and with his fingers he made sure the water has reached the scalp and then he would pour water over his head three times. Can we take ghusl with hair tied up? Yes, you can. Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave permission to Umm Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha when she asked, O Messenger of Allah, do I have to undo my braids when I take ghusl from Janaba? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, It is enough if you pour water on your head three times. That will make you clean. So it is not obligatory to undo your hair every time. But you should make sure the water reaches your scalp. In fact, Sheikh Ibn Luthaymin rahimahullah writes that she should make sure water reaches every strand by placing the braid under the water spout and squeezing it. And this permission is only for ghusl after janaba and not after menstruation. As ghusl after menstruation, this is only once and it is not difficult for you to undo your hair for it. Whereas janaba is more frequent and thus easiness is prescribed. Can we use soap and shampoo during ghusl? Yes, you can. There is absolutely nothing wrong with using shampoo and soap while taking ghusl. Hair must be rinsed over three times. But shampoo is not easily washed off in those three. What can I do? This is what you can do. First take a normal bath to cleanse yourself with soap and shampoo. And then take a ghusl with plain water in accordance with the sunnah to wash away the ritual impurity. In the past, women used to wipe their private parts with musk. What is the role of musk here? And will soap suffice today? The aim here is to ward off unpleasant odors and to perfume the site. It's interesting to know that a study showed musk as a natural antibiotic against genital diseases, funguses and yeasts. Disease-causing bacteria increase in number during the menstrual period. And so it is beneficial to use musk after menstruation. If musk is not available, you may use whatever perfume you can find. If no perfume is available, then it is recommended to use whatever will remove the odor. If you cannot find any of these, then water is sufficient. But if perfume is available and you still don't use it, then it is makro. I feel too shy to take a ghusl early morning after janaba. Yes, that can happen, especially if you are a newlywed or living in a joint family. I do understand. But my dear sister, Shyness is not an excuse if you are going to miss an obligatory salat. What you can do is wake up just a little early than others or take a very quick ghusl. I'd say 3 to 4 minutes should be enough. Do only the obligatory parts. Say Bismillah, rinse your mouth and nose and pour water over your entire body. Don't undo your hair. Keep the water noise low. Perhaps don't use a shower, use a bucket. Dry the top hair, tie your hijab and back to your room. Nobody will suspect. For more how-to guides, subscribe to the Striving Muslima YouTube channel or get yourself to the strivingmuslima.com and subscribe to the mailing list. I will keep you updated about all the latest videos and interesting articles. Don't forget to share this how-to guide with your family and friends. By sharing this video, you are helping your friends and family in their deen.